today I'm gonna give you a peek into my grocery list. So what I'm gonna show you is exactly how my brain works when I walk into the grocery store. And I'm gonna show you what I like and what I don't like and just make it super simple for you guys. Um, I'm really specific when I go into the grocery store. Um, you know, I think that it's really important to look at ingredients and make sure that you're not eating things with, um, you know, maybe more than like five ingredients at most and just make sure that there's no, you know, artificial sweeteners and all the bad chemicals that you wanna avoid. The first thing I do when I go to the grocery store is I fill my cart up with sparkling water. I am absolutely addicted to sparkling water. What I like to do with sparkling water is I'll have like a little bit of orange juice in the morning and then put the rest sparkling water. Um, I also do it with maybe like a lemonade. I'll make like a sparkling lemonade. So I'm not getting all that sugar, but I'm still getting that, um, you know, feeling of drinking lemonade. Um, sparkling water is also fun to put in a wine glass with a splash of kombucha and you feel like you're kind of having a mocktail. Um, and I just like drinking sparkling water in general. I feel like it's filling and um, it's just my favorite thing ever. So sparkling water is the first thing I get. The second thing I get is typically suja. I love suja juice. My favorite is their lemon love and it's kind of a spicy lemonade and it's just the best. So if you're in the market and they have suja, try the lemon love. Another good flavor is the 12 essentials. After I grab that, I usually get an almond milk and a hemp milk. So lately I've been loving hemp milk in my cappuccino. It is so good and it has protein in it, so it's perfect for the mornings. The almond milk I'll usually use for protein shakes that I make after a workout and I just love having almond and hemp milk available. Another thing that I'll grab is raw almond butter or raw nut butter. So that's right here and it's kind of expensive, but it is so worth it because it's packed with protein and it is so good for dipping apples in. It's not pasteurized and I just really, really, really love a good raw almond butter. So next time you're in the store, you can even make your own too. They have like those peanut machines. Try that out and you'll love it. I like to also put raw almond butter on toast. Some of my favorite toast brands are Ezekiel. It's a sprouted grain bread. I have it in front of me right now here. And I like the cinnamon raisin kind. I also love Rudy's English muffins. Um, they're super, super good if you just cut them in half and you mash berries up and mix it with chia seeds. You can kind of make like a jam type of thing and put it on top of it, toast it, it's so good. For oatmeal, I have a specific oatmeal I like and I actually get it off Amazon. It's called Holy Crap and it is holy crap. Like it is so good. It's filled with buckwheat and chia seeds and hemp seeds and just all the good stuff. And um, it's great when you're running out the door like I am. You just put a little bit of hot water in it and you're good to go. You can add a couple berries. Um, holy crap, Amazon, I'll leave the link below. Pasta, if you want something quick like mac and cheese, Annie's makes a great mac and cheese. Um, this one is probably gonna be way better than your Kraft mac and cheese. Of course, if you have time to make your homemade mac and cheese and you can use your own ingredients, that's ideal. But um, if you just want like something in a pinch or you're having a drunk late night at 3 a.m., I totally recommend Annie's mac and cheese. I'm also a huge fan of chia seeds. As you guys know, people make fun of me, but I just love chia seeds. Um, they make everything regular and you can add them to anything. I add them to smoothies, I add them to sal salad dressings, I'll add them to Lemon Love Suja. Um, they're just great and they add protein and fiber to your drink or your oatmeal or whatever you want. Another thing I always go for in the grocery store, obviously, is veggies. You can't go wrong with kale, spinach, romaine, um, sweet potatoes, avocado. Of course, I'm in love with lemon. Lemon is my favorite thing in the whole entire world, so I definitely stock up on Meyer lemons, limes, and just sort of the normal stuff you get, but I also love to get sort of weird things like jalapenos, which I dice and make like a salad dressing out of. I love hothouse cucumbers. It's a special kind of cucumber that's extra long and extra good. Um, I love wild arugula. I put that in smoothies. Um, and then I'll always go for fruit, like raspberries, watermelon, pineapple. Um, you know, just fruits that have a lot of water are my favorites. Watermelon's one of those, because it's gonna be a diuretic and sort of flush your system out. 
Um, I also am a huge fan of bananas. I like to take half of a banana and throw it in a smoothie. It literally just makes the smoothie's consistency so much better. Um, and you can also, if you want sort of like an ice cream treat, mix a half of a banana with your raw almond butter and a little bit of cacao in a blender and freeze it and it's the best ice cream ever. I also love cottage cheese. I like to get the organic kind. There's a lot of controversy on dairy, but I love cottage cheese and I'm not giving up my cottage cheese. Another thing I like is Greek yogurt. I love to put chia seeds, weird, um, <laughs> cinnamon, cacao, and a little bit of stevia and mix it up. It tastes like a cinnamon bun. Um, you should really try it, it's like the best thing ever. Um, and then I also love a little bit of meat. I'm not a huge meat fan, and again, I'm specific about my meat, but I will go to the deli and ask them to do fresh cut slices for me. Um, I find when you get meat in packaging, there's lots of sodium and lots of different chemicals. If you look on the back, you will be overwhelmed with how many chemicals that you normally put in them. So the deli is usually fresh. I'll go for like a turkey, or a chicken or you know something that's that's lean and I usually typically like white meat. Michael's more of a pastrami person, that's just not my fave. You can't forget the cookie aisle. I really, really, really love cookies that are filled with natural ingredients. So I'll just check and see, you know, what has the best ingredients. I typically like like dark chocolate chip cookies, um, ones that don't have soy in them. I try to avoid soy at all costs. I'll do a post on that, but um, definitely, if you can, avoid soy. Um, as far as cereal, I love Ezekiel Sprouted Green Cereal. Um, the plain one's my favorite. And again, I'll just put stuff like cinnamon and chia seeds and more cacao or toasted coconut flakes. Um, just I try to take stuff that's maybe a little bit more plain and put my own added touch on it. So when I can take a cereal like that, there's so many options. They're kind of endless. You can make a trail mix. You can throw it in your purse. So just again, keeping that simple platform and adding little things that are healthy. Um, as far as things that I buy to put in my handbag when I'm running out the door, um, cutie tangerines, you can find those basically anywhere. They're the best, just throw them in your handbag. Um, I also like putting little packs of almonds in my handbag. I would definitely recommend getting the raw unsalted ones. And if you wanna add salt, which is completely fine, get some pink Himalayan salt and um, it lasts forever and you can just put it in your cupboard and use it on whatever you want so you don't kind of have to worry about buying the pre-salted almonds. Another thing I love is eggs. I typically get the organic cage-free eggs. There's a brand called Vital Farms that I love and I love to have eggs for breakfast, dinner, lunch, any meal and I put hard-boiled eggs in my purse all the time when I'm on the go. So eggs are a total winner, and if you want, you can even make Skinny Confidential pancakes out of them by blending a half of a banana with two eggs and just pouring it over a skillet and adding a little bit of syrup. And how I make syrup is I just put a drop of maple syrup with a couple of smashed raspberries in it. You can add a little chia seed if you want, because I'm chia seed obsessed, and just put it on the pancakes, and it makes a lovely, amazing, delicious meal. Another treat I like to get at the grocery store are grapes and I freeze them and I'll just pop them in my mouth when I'm craving something sweet. But before I end this post, I also wanna say that I definitely treat myself sometimes. I'm not just having a ton of healthy food all the time 24 seven. But when I go to the grocery store, it's really important for me to buy things that I do wanna put in my body and not things that I kind of maybe don't wanna put in my body. When I find that I have stuff that's healthy around me that I can just grab, it makes my life easier. And then if I want a glass of champagne or a piece of chocolate cake, I'll have that when I'm out on the go. So those are my top grocery store favorites. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below and happy grocery shopping.